Yandı, 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 yandı işte Because look at this place. It is packed out. And it's the same all the way up the street. And yet this is the city right in the midst of a COVID crisis. I forgot about COVID-19 when I was here, actually. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice just follow the rules and nice I think we're fine. Football fans in St. Petersburg are partying like there's no pandemic. The city's hosting the Euros just as officials admit that there's a record surge in coronavirus infections and deaths. They say it's already worse here now than it was in the last wave of the pandemic back in autumn, and they're pretty worried. St. Petersburg's being hit by a heat wave as it faces this new wave of COVID too. But there's no hint of a lockdown here. So we've just uh, driven up here and there's six ambulances lined up and the, the medics here are telling us that means they've got to wait about two, maybe three hours to get their patients admitted. This Most have got the Delta variant of COVID. It's more infectious and it's spreading fast. And so far in Russia, only 11% of people have been fully vaccinated. This lady just said to me, if she hadn't been vaccinated, she thinks she would have died. She says she's got uh, double pneumonia now, and that's uh, after having been vaccinated back in January. Нужно вводить жесткий локдаун. Ну, может быть, чемпионат закончится по футболу, может быть, они сделают. Пока я не вижу, что они что-то делают. They are pushing people to get protected, though. Mostly with Sputnik V. That's the vaccine the government here called the first and the best in the world. Uh, there's another lady just going in now to get vaccinated. You know, the really weird thing here in Russia is that this country has had its own vaccine for months now, and yet people have been really reluctant to actually get it. No, да, но потому что это незнакомо, но не сильно верят, может быть. Нет, я думаю, сейчас начнут все прививаться. Some are coming because they want to, but others, from teachers to train drivers, have been told they get the jab or they lose their job. В течение многих лет это доверие подрывалось. Так, конечно, опасно. Но если посмотреть статистику, сколько народу у нас привито, сколько привито в других странах, то, конечно, это опасно. Тем более сейчас это третья волна. That was just an announcement saying get obligatory to wear masks now on the metro here. Most people are, but not everyone. There hasn't been a, a lockdown in Russia for more than a year now, and I think people kind of thought the danger had passed, that there was some kind of exception here. They got away with it. But it's hitting hard again now, COVID is back. When you look at all the people out and about, boats full of party goers, it's really hard to remember that actually there's a record number of COVID cases in Russia now and a record number of people actually dying. But the problem is the authorities have spent so long telling people, claiming that Russia is dealing better with COVID than anyone else, that they're having real problems now persuading people that things are serious.